Hey everybody, I hope that our first week of digital learning is going well. I hope that our video on Monday talking about a different addition strategies has been helpful when doing your Seesaw activities. I also hope that you are continuing to practice to count by ones and by tens to 100 every day. And today we are going to practice and review addition word problems. All right, we know that we see them in equation form quite often, but then we can also see them in a story type form where we have to read them. So let me pull a couple up. All right, so let's read our e word problem together. Mrs. Pilkington has three cookies. Mrs. Klutz gave her six more. How many cookies does Mrs. Pilkington have now? All right, so when I look at this word problem, I know that Mrs. Pilkington has three cookies to start with. All right, I know that she has three, okay? And then I, Mrs. Klutz, give her six more. So now it is our job to solve how many cookies Mrs. Pilkington has now. Okay, so I have my equation, three plus six equals blank. We need to solve how many cookies Ms. Pilkington has now. All right, I'm gonna use my picture strategy and draw circles underneath each to solve. So three, one, two, three. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I will go through and count how many I drew to figure out how many cookies Ms. Pilkington has. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many cookies does Mrs. Pilkington have now? Nine, she has nine cookies now. All right, let's do another one. Okay, let me pull this back up. Okay, let's read our equation. There are two blue birds sitting on a tree and two red birds sitting on a tree. How many birds are on the tree? So I know that I have two blue birds and two red birds, okay? So let's solve, all right? Let's make it into equation. Two plus two equals blank. I need to figure out how many bluebirds are sitting on a tree? This time, or red and bluebirds, this time the strategy I'm gonna use is I'm gonna count on in my head, okay? So I'm not gonna draw any pictures, I'm not gonna use a tense frame, I'm not gonna use our number line. I'm gonna think in my head and count up. So I'm gonna find our bigger number first. Two plus two, well those are equal. So I'm just gonna start at two and I'm gonna count up two. So I'm gonna go two, three, four. So what is two plus two equal? Four. How many birds are sitting in the tree? Four birds. All right, let's do one more. Pull it back up. Okay, Lucy read five fiction books and five non-fiction books. How many books did Lucy read? Okay, so I know that Lucy read five fiction books and five non-fiction books. All right, so now I'm going to solve how many books Lucy read in all. Okay, so turn it into an equation. Five plus five equals blank. 
all right? This one we can probably do really quick in our head, but I'm just gonna show you using the tense frame how we can solve it. All right, so I'll draw my tense frame. And now I'm gonna fill it in. So I've got five fiction books and then five nonfiction books. Okay, so do I even need to count my tense frame? No, because it's completely full filled in. And when it is a completely full tense frame, how many is in there? 10. So five plus five equals 10. Lucy read 10 books all together. All right, so. Remember, we can use our addition strategies that we have learned when solving our word problems. All right, have a good day, guys.